Hi, this is Yarek Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Jason Horonsky from Jasco Games looking at Top Gun Plot Twist Party Game, which is an interesting license. It is. Because, yes, I would not expect Top Gun items coming out. Yeah, so... Here, but... We had, this come about? we had a weird conversation in the office when we were just talking about movies and everything else, and a lot of our staff was like, we should really get Top Gun, kind of as a joke originally, because okay. it's a lot of our favorite movies. And then uh, I guess one thing led to another. We started talking to Paramount, <laughs> and we ended up just going, you know what, let's do this. Okay. So Ryan Miller's the designer. Um, we decided, even though it looks like it's probably based on fighter planes and battling. Mm. The game's all about embracing the 80s-ness of this movie and it's it's more of a party game. So okay. that's, that's what it's about. So we have quotes and awesome things from the movie. You give high fives, you, you flip people the bird. It's, you know, so it may not be the most children appropriate game, but it is rated PG. Okay. <laughs> it was, I think, or, the, or second, the movie. second or third PG rated movie ever. So they didn't really know what PG meant yet. You mean PG-13? No, it was PG. It was PG? PG. Okay. Yeah, this was before... It was like right after G was a thing, and then they're like, well, we need something that's not G and not No, they had, they had PG movies at that time. There was, there was the whole controversy with Indiana Jones' Temple of Doom, where uh, the guy pulled the guy's heart out in, that, the, PG, that in the PG movie, yeah. and so they're like, whoa, whoa, we need uh, something else. So that was PG-13. <laughs> right. Yeah, but this one came out in 1986, so... It's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right. So what are we what are we doing aside from the uh, the fingers and whatnot? So what you do in this game? Okay. You have a couple different pilot cards you'll play. So when you play as a pilot, you have to go by the call sign for the rest of the game. If you call anyone by anything other than their call sign or your call sign, then okay. you have to discard a card. Okay. Uh, some people might play it with shots, but that's not part of the actual game. All right. That's just up to house rules, I guess. Mm -hmm. You have two types of cards. You have maneuvers. And let's pick one that's not so sweary. Yeah. There we go. We'll do that one. Okay. Maneuvers. And you have insults. So okay. when you're playing the game, you go through a series of hops. A hop is a round. So everyone gets to play maneuvers around the table until you start your turn with the Top Gun trophy. To get the Top Gun trophy, all you have to do is play the highest number on a maneuver. Okay. So they don't add together or anything like that. It's just simply the highest number. They go from one to ten. Okay. So when you're going around, you'll play, you know, maybe you'll play the three, you'll read the quote. I don't know how yeah. language is on yeah. this show, so I'm yeah. just not going to read the quotes, just, just for the sake of that. Um, and I'll play like a three and a five. So what this does is it adds points to the board. Mm-hmm. And you'll, the winner of the hop will get all the points on the board. So and you, you just do it like, once around. Uh, so you go around until someone starts with the trophy. Okay. So like, let's say you have that eight, and I have a three and a five. And there's two other players over here. Right. So let's say you just got this, you just played the eight. So the next person will play whatever they play. Let's say they play a three, right. and then they'll play something. They'll play a one. So they're just adding points to the board. So they're going to rely on me to get rid of your eight, or you'll win all the points on the board. Okay. So what I have to do is I'll draw cards, and you start to draw, you draw one card at the start of the turn, but I'm just gonna get a handful right. here. Um, and you'll say your call sign, so I'm gonna be Iceman, and say Iceman has the ball, I draw a card. If I don't remember to draw a card, I don't get to draw a card. All right. And then I can play any number of maneuvers or insults during my turn. Okay. So if I wanna get rid of your eight, what I would do is I would say, whose butt did you kiss to get in here? And it would get rid of your eight unless you insult me back. Okay. So you could play, let's not do that one. Let's go, Iceman, you stink. And so we'd go back and forth until you can't play insults back and forth anymore. And then we'll determine, Someone's gonna be we'll determine either your eight survived and I have to play a maneuver to, okay. to get a higher number than your eight, or I got rid of your eight. And then okay. the trophy will go to whatever the highest number is on the board. Okay. So you always have to play at least one maneuver or you have to land your plane and you're out of the hop. Okay. So I'll play my one maneuver, talk to me, Goose. It's a 10. I take the trophy, then it goes around the table again. Okay. So keeps going until someone scores 30 points. So you'll play multiple hops. It usually takes it about two hops to win the game if you want to win two hops. Right. Um, if you have five people at the table, you know, sometimes it can go all, everyone has one, and then that final hop will be right. pretty intense. Okay. With a lot but it's a really lighthearted, really fun party game. Okay. The quotes do a lot for it. And if you watch the all movie right. in the background, you'll end up quoting it at the same time constantly. It's all pulling out there. Top Gun, plot twist party. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, no problem.